Hello everyone, I know this is not normally the videos I make, I don't really make discussion videos, but something that's been on my mind for a while now and I think it's been on everybody else's mind is the state of movie theaters and just the state of movies in general and I kind of want to talk about that today and just kind of give my thoughts on what's been going on in the world right now and the state of movies as we know it. If you guys know, last year we got hit by something that nobody expected and kind of just shut everything down mainly the movie industry and the movie business movies stopped coming out but if they were obviously they couldn't come out in the cinemas because cinemas were closed or even when they were open at a small period of time nobody was going so that kind of sucked but in this year in 2021 cinemas are starting to get back on their feet movies are starting to come out more regularly movies are starting to make the box office that they somewhat started to make the box office still quite low which really sucks for a lot of films actually every film um but cinemas are starting to come back to normal but also 2021 and 2020 showed that streaming services are extremely big right now and especially with the whole hbo max warner brothers same day as the cinema release date has kind of been messing over i think the box office numbers of the warner brothers property the main one being that i can think of is james gunn's the suicide squad extremely fun heartwarming just a really great film one of my favorites of the year kind of bombed at the box office now it could be because it's r-rated it could be because not a lot of people want to leave their house but one of the bigger factors is it's also on hbo max where people don't have to leave their homes I think that becomes a big factor in it. Now, if you're super uncomfortable leaving your house and going to a big crowd, I completely understand. My cinema crowd for The Suicide Squad was me and my family and like two other people. It was kind of sad and, and really sad actually because I want any film to do well and I think this kind of HBO Max release thing is screwing over a lot, a lot of movies. I understand why they're doing it they want their films to at least make some profit they want their films to at least come out but i do believe it's hurting a lot of movies but i can say this is the full reason because jungle cruise actually for pandemic reasons is actually doing pretty good at the box office coming i think 100 million so far but it's also on disney plus so I can't say it's just because of the streaming services. I do think it has to do with something. That Suicide Squad is R-rated. You can't. It's not a family film. You can't take the whole family to see it. And I think that's why other films like Jungle Cruise and like Free Guy are doing a lot better at the box office. Which more movies like The Suicide Squad aren't. Which again definitely does suck so i kind of want to talk about streaming services um people have been talking about this even before the pandemic will streaming services start to outtake cinemas and i don't think we'll ever live in a world at least i hope not where cinemas are no longer a thing i think there will always be cinemas i think there will always be a market for theaters for hardcore movie fans that want to see a film in the cinema like i do but I also think there'll be a choice for moviegoers that don't want to see a movie in the cinema or are extremely annoying or just want to do their phone. They can see the film at their house, which to be honest is probably better so they don't ruin anybody's movie experience. I think streaming services are here to stay. Do I think going out of 2021 and into 2022, do I think Warner Brothers will still do the same day theater release and the same day HBO Max release after 2021? I don't really know. But it is looking towards that HBO Max is wanting to do more same-day releases as the cinema releases, which is unprecedented. What is going on is unprecedented, and what is going on with the movie world is unprecedented. And films that just are coming out into cinemas aren't doing as good, such as M. Night Shyamalan's Old. Haven't seen the film, but isn't doing that great. Green Knight did pretty good, but not as good as it should have. Just cinema releases aren't doing as great as oh you can see this film in the cinemas or if you don't want to or are comfortable or just going to be annoying you can see it on hbo max or disney plus this really started at the end of 2020 when wander brothers fully announced this and wonder woman came on on the same day theaters and hbo max release and made enough money i think it did a pretty good profit but even pre-pandemic um 
cinemas and moviegoers started to become less and less, and especially respectable moviegoers. Moviegoers and the people that really want a perfect cinema experience want to get the perfect cinema experience. So on the plus side, I think it's good that they're doing streaming services for people that just don't have any respect for the people around them, so they can just stay at home and do whatever the hell they want. But also it sucks for the movies in general, for filmmakers and directors that just want their films to be released in cinemas, such as James Gunn with Suicide Squad and Dune. The director of Dune is really disappointed that that his, his magnum opus is coming in cinemas, but also HBO Max. A lot of directors are extremely upset by this because they want their vision to be seen on the biggest screen possible, especially with a film like The Suicide Squad and especially with the film like Dune. With the visuals like that seen on a big screen is going to be much better than seeing it on your home television. Do I think cinemas are dying? Do I think cinemas are going anywhere anytime soon? No. And yes. Do I think cinemas are going anywhere? No, I don't. Again, I think there will always be a market for cinemas. People that want to go to the cinema, people that want to get the best movie experience that they can on the biggest screen with the best sound that they possibly can. I think there will always be a market for that. But, I think cinemas will start to become less populated with people for the smaller movies. I think an audience member will always want to go see the newest Marvel movie or the newest DC film in the cinemas. Big films are going to be a cinema's experience. Why? Because audiences love seeing their a big movie on the big screen. But a smaller film, like The Green Knight, people are just gonna wait. They're gonna be like, I don't wanna see this film on the, on a, the big screen. I don't wanna interact with people and yes i know times we're in right now it's tough i get it i'm not saying like that i'm just saying a pre-pandemic or a different universe or something like that that's what i'm saying people don't want to leave their comfort of their homes and even before the pandemic they didn't want to do that either they don't like human interaction sure they'll go see an in game or a spider-man far from home or shazam or captain marvel but they're not gonna really want to go see a green knight or a film like that in the cinema. They're just going to wait until it comes out on physical release so they can watch it from the comforts of their home. So I don't think cinemas are going anywhere and I don't think they're really dying, but I definitely do think a market for them is going to be less and less with the smaller films. Again, the next Spider-Man film, a billion dollars in the bank, boom, boom, boom. But a smaller film in terms of a cinema audience, it's only going to be the hardcore fans the hardcore moviegoers that want to see every single film that they can in the best possible format that they can, which is the cinema. I am a firm believer that a movie theater is the best possible space to see a film. If an audience is, is respectful, an audience can add so much to a film. There's so many clips and videos of people showing theater reactions to Infinity War or Endgame.
or Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, even though that's a lot of hate, but they're showing it. Imagine seeing Avengers Endgame in the comfort on your couch. The experience would be lessened. Imagine seeing Infinity War on the comforts of your couch. The experience would be shortened. Sure, do you need to see every movie in the cinema? No. Do you need to see the newest just random comedy? No. You don't need to see that in the cinema. It's not, it's not going to add much if you just want to wait to see it at home or watch it on a streaming service the same day it comes out. But I have a fear that a lot of people will get so used to this streaming service that companies and studios will be forced to put movies the same day release date as they're released in the cinema on HBO Max like they did with Warner Brothers films like The Suicide Squad, like Dune, like Wonder Woman 1984, and so many others. It's kind of insane. 2019 was a fantastic year for movies, not just into the quality of them, but also the box office in them. Like, Avengers Endgame made $2 billion, Spider-Man Far From Home made $800 million, big box office dis explosions. Joker made a billion dollars. Like, 2019 was an insane year for not just film quality and quantity, but also for film box office. And 2020, even before pre-pandemic, wasn't doing very good. Birds of Prey bombed so hard, which sucks. I really like that film, but because it's an R-rated comic book film that, to be honest, didn't have the best marketing strategy, but still, nobody wants to see a horror our comic book film and those who do they can't take their family to do it because it's not a family oriented movie like free guy free guy is a family oriented movie birds of prey isn't sonic did pretty good but that's a mainstream movie guys even before the pandemic 2020 was just not a good year do a little bombed the gentleman did pretty good bad boys for life i think was the highest grossing film of that year but even before the pandemic, 2020 just didn't look that good for movies. And then they had to delay them all to this year, and now they're even delaying some to next year, like Top Gun Maverick, Mission Impossible got pushed back even later in the year. I don't think movies will die. There will always be a market for cinema. I think a lot of people will start to see less movies in the cinema and just choose to see it on the streaming services. Like, how many people are going to see The Matrix 4 in the cinema? Normally, only the hardcore fans. The people that just don't really care, they'll sit on their couch and watch the film on HBO Max on the same day release. Do I get it? Sure. In times like this, I get it. But also, I'm a firm belief of supporting movie theaters and supporting filmmakers. And this whole streaming service isn't really doing it. So you guys go, I thought I was going to give you guys my thoughts on what's been going on with streaming services and movie theaters, and I know this was a bit more of a rambly video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. What do you guys think of this? I would love to know all you guys' thoughts, and as always, keep talking movies.